Hello grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lesson. We have rotations today, which is the end most likely of this particular unit, lesson five. Um, we are going to learn a few new things and a few strategies on how to rotate. It's a little bit more complex than what we've done so far. So I wanna show you this first. What we have here is a little depiction of the positive and negative signs of X and Y values in each quadrant. We call it quadrant because there's four of them. So in this top right quadrant, all of our values are positive. X's and Y's are both positive this way and this way. We go this one to this one down here. X's are positive, but Y's are negative. In this case, uh, we have um, negatives for both of them in the bottom left and negatives for X's positive for Y's in the top right. We're going to use these when we determine what quadrant we're going to rotate into. We're going to use these signs. So I may come back to this, I may just draw it on our paper. Let's go with the first one. We are going to rotate this first one clockwise about the origin. It's usually about the origin, which is right here, 90 degrees clockwise. So 90 degrees, and then clockwise is around that way. So we are going to be putting it into this quadrant down here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this space for other stuff, just because I can. First step when we're rotating 90 degrees is we are going to write down the points of uh, that we're given. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do I and J and then K and H. So I is 0 left to right and 4 up. J is 2 to the right and 4 up. K is 5 to the right and one, two, three up. It is three up. Just checking my official version. And H is zero left to right and one up. We are now going to, the next step is to write all these points flipped around. I'm gonna to change to a red pen for these now. We're going to flip them all around. And even if there were some negatives, we would just ignore negatives. We would just flip the numbers. So this one is four and zero. This one is four and two. K is three and then five. And then H is one and then zero. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the signs that are in this quadrant. And if we remember, well, let's just pull it back out. The sign that is in this quadrant is positive for x's and negatives for y's. Positives for x's is good, but all the y's need to be negative. Zero can't be negative, but negative two can, negative five, and that one cannot. So now we're going to take those values and we're going to replace them. We're going to plot them on here. The value four, zero, one, two, three, four, zero, that's this point right here. J is four minus two, right here. K is one, two, three, and then minus five down here. And then we have one, zero, one to the right and zero up and down for H. We're gonna go ahead and connect these. You can see we have the same triangle, just rotated. And now that you've seen it, you can probably pick it up in your mind and flip it and put it down. Uh, but at what we're doing when we're rotating 90 degrees is we're flipping the signs over regardless of positive or negative and then applying the signs that apply to that quadrant. Let's do the next problem where we rotate this triangle. We are going to be rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise. That's this way, so that's up into this quadrant. I'm going to go ahead and use these quadrants again. So I'm going to label G, F, and H. The G point is one to the right and two down. F is one to the right and four down. It's negative four there. And then H is four to the right and four down, yes. Just wanted to confirm on my master sheet, my drawing is not the best. Okay, we are going to change all of the numbers around. We're going to ignore positives and negatives and just change the numbers for each. So that's two and one, uh, four and one, and then four and four. 
and we're going to apply the sign for this quadrant that's positives all around everything is positive so we are going to then leave all of these signs positive and we're going to use them to draw our triangle so point two one two over and one up that's point G point F is four over and one up and then H is four over and four up it's right here we have our beautiful triangle just rotate it up let's do one where we're gonna rotate 90 degrees all right when we rotate 90 degrees what we're going to do is we are simply going to flip the signs over for each one um, let's write out the the points Q is minus 3 plus 3 uh, what does that even say? That's P. Oh my goodness, that's P. P is the point minus 3, 2. We also have the point R, which is 3, 3. And then the point S, which is... Sorry, point R is 2, 3. My apologies. And then the point S is 2, 2. We got to get this right. Holy smokes, if we don't get it right, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, so what we're going to do when we rewrite all these is we're going to simply switch the signs of each one. So this one becomes 3 minus 3. This one becomes 3 minus 2. This one becomes minus 2 minus 3. And this one's minus 2 minus 2. We're going to go ahead and plot those points. So 3 minus 3, that's right here, and that's point Q. Then 3 minus 2 is right here. That is point P. Minus 2 minus 3, 1, 2, and then 3 down is right here. That is point R. And then point S is minus 2 minus 2, so that is right here. We're going to go ahead and draw that box. Although not perfectly lined up with everything, you can see that we have taken it and flipped it around the origin 180 degrees. So since it was farther out this way, it's going to be farther out on this side on the bottom. But for rotating 180 degrees, you simply flip the signs of each point. We're going to practice lots so you'll get used to it. Let's do one more where we rotate 90 degrees. This one's going to be clockwise, so 90 degrees, and then clockwise is this way. So that means that we're rotating into this quadrant um, when we have crossover into this one so then this point is going to be rotating into this quadrant so we're going to just need to be careful um, when we rotate these these values okay let's go um, you is the point 0 minus 2 then we have the point V which is 1 1 and the point W which is point 4 minus 3 yes okay we're rotating so we're going to flip the, the sign the numbers but not worry about the signs at all so this is 2 and 0 1 and 1 and 3 and 4 okay and then u and w are flipping into this quadrant here which is all negative so we're going to make all of these negative minus 2 comes negative and the w everything becomes negative and the v is going to be rotating into this quadrant uh, and that means that we are making the x values uh, positive uh, and our y values negative. So for v, we have a negative one there. Let's see if this works out. Um, okay, so we have u, which is minus two, zero. That is down over two and zero, so that's right here for u. We are going to have v at one minus one right here. And W at minus 3, minus 4 down here. We can go ahead and connect those. Let's 
see that we have rotated our triangle 90 degrees. So we are rotated. It's important if the points are in different quadrants that we put them into the quadrant that they're going to be in. It's rotating 90 degrees clockwise. We are putting them in one, two, that way. Um, if you have questions, please stop me in class. I'll be over you, I'm sure. Um, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.